Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday about 10.30 a.m. and uh, here's my market report. Now over the weekend we had a bit of disturbing news out of the United States. The share market there took a big tumble on Friday night, down about 2.5%. People are getting very worried that the American economy is headed for a double dip recession or a U-shaped, sorry, W-shaped recession. That's a recession, a bit of a recovery and another recession. All sorts of indices about US manufacturing, house prices, the level of bank lending, all pointing towards uh, a potential another downturn in the American economy, and that would not be good uh, for the expected global recovery. Anyway, we shall see. Our market took a bit of a tumble yesterday, not as bad as America, and is in fact up about 10 points this morning. Now, some positive news in the market is the increased level of takeover activity. Takeovers indicate a willingness of buyers, both private equity and other corporations, to put their money where their mouth is, to buy other companies in expectation of better times ahead. Yesterday, yesterday we found out that uh, HealthScope, which has uh, been under bid for some time, although it's not been certain whether some genuine uh, bids would emerge, uh, its board has agreed to a bid from the private equity groups TPG, which uh, recently sold out of Meyer, and Carlyle. It was priced at $6.26 a share, which was probably well above most people's expectations, my own included. Other healthcare stocks include uh, Ramsey. Many people think that the uh, other buyer for HealthScope, which was private equity group KKR, might now have a crack at Ramsey. And of course, uh, Sigma Pharmaceuticals, which is still in negotiation with South Africa's Aspen Group. They've got a bit of 55 cents a share, although my sense is that Sigma will probably go it alone. The shareholders may not thank them for that, of course. Um, Centennial Coal is underbid by Banpu, which is a Thai company that's uh, received approval from the Thai Central Bank this morning. However, Banpu shareholders and Australia's Foreign Investment Review Board still have to give the green light to the deal. And also Intol, which is the new name for the old Macquarie Infrastructure Group, amongst other things, it owns uh, Toronto's the biggest toll road. It's received a bid from, unsurprisingly, the Canada Pensions Board. The bid's largely dominated in Canadi Canadian dollars. Uh, it's priced at about $1.50. Australian. The stock's around $1.44, $1.45 here. I expect the bid to go through and I expect fairly soon they will lock in an Australian dollar value for it. So there you go, volatile times. The federal election here isn't doing much for markets, either positive or negative, which has historically always been the case.